But there are some near-term things I think we should pay attention to. Logistics, clearly one of them. Relevant to this partnership between the, the Australia and the U.S. and operating in this region. Logistics, logistics, logistics. That is the limiting factor. That's the driving factor in how far and how fast you can go. Logistics, the ability to deploy, arm, feed, and fuel our forces globally has been a competitive advantage that we have enjoyed for decades. However, recent conflicts illustrate that even a numerically superior force will struggle to sustain itself and protect supply routes against precision attacks and disruption from a determined enemy. We can no longer expect to close and sustain forces from secure forward bases, built up over weeks or months from areas of sanctuary, as we did in Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan. A handful of major supply routes emanating from large iron mountains at forward bases, ports, and airfields will be a liability on the modern battlefield. We must expect to be contested by future adversaries, from our industrial base to the front line. Our logistics and sustainment capabilities are already being targeted. Adversaries will employ systems and tactics to hold the fleet and joint force at arm's length, allowing them to employ a strategy that uses contested areas as a shield behind which they can apply a range of coercive measures against our allies and partners. Force design accelerates the modernization of the Marine Corps to meet the challenges of the future operating environment. The Marine Corps is uniquely positioned to provide the nation options in support of integrated deterrence. Our stand-in forces are forward-postured, steady-state forces operating in contested areas, capable of transitioning rapidly from competition to crisis to conflict and back again. These forces are small but lethal, low signature, mobile, and agile, designed to operate with allies and partners across the competition continuum and along the leading edge of maritime defense in depth. To sustain these forces, we must modernize our logistics enterprise. We require systemic change now. The future calls for an agile, integrated sustainment network, a network capable of generating multiple logistics webs that provide options to commanders, create resiliency, contribute to deterrence, and overcome the precision-driven lethality of the modern battlefield. Tomorrow's logistics network must be agile enough to overcome both kinetic and non-kinetic attacks. Building this network requires the development and resourcing of several critical capabilities, four of which are central to our ability to generate logistics webs and sustain our warfighters. First, we need multi-capable distribution platforms. The Marine Corps will require a mix of crude and autonomous capabilities designed to operate from and alongside naval platforms and bases. Much of this technology is in development to include the medium landing ship, which is smaller than our recognizable ships, but larger than our current ship-to-shore connectors. However, the unmanned logistics system AIR, the CH-53K, and our amphibious warfare ships are examples of capabilities mature enough to sustain distributed naval forces today. Second, we need to increase, disperse, and diversify the forward positioning of sustainment. In addition to working closely with allies and partners to expand access to shared resources, we must modernize our pre-positioning. The Global Positioning Network, GPN, will consist of a dynamic, integrated, afloat and ashore network to support the stand-in force and global crisis response. Third, we must make our installations ready for the contested environment. Every operation begins and ends with our bases and stations. Indo-Pacific installations must transform into advanced bases that serve as vital nodes in the network, enabling early phase operational maneuver while demonstrating commitment to our allies and partners. These critical advanced bases require resourcing and modernization to generate combat power, provide sustainment of forces, and to recover quickly from adversary attacks across all domains. Fourth, an integrated logistics command and control framework is required to bring together these distribution platforms. Forward sustainment and advanced bases. This new C2 architecture consists of new organizations, improved command arrangements, and modernized information technology. This includes artificial intelligence to enable faster decision making, allowing commanders to match resources to requirements in a manner that is threat informed. 
Among these four core capabilities, developing a Logistics C2 framework will be the most challenging to produce. We seek the resourcing to work with industry and the joint force to deliver what will serve as the most critical capability for the pacing function. Without these, we will be hard pressed to continue the current pace of modernization and meet the requirements of the new operating environment. However, to retain our competitive advantage, we must modernize our logistics to meet new challenges and threats. The Marine Corps stands ready to lead the modernization in this area. As we work in the Indo-Pacific with Admiral Aquilino, uh, we are looking at a strategy of diverse and disperse. In other words, we, we are seeing that we're going to have more distributed operations in more locations, which will provide us that redundancy and resilience and then diversity to have some, some capability to move with, with respect to ships on the water that are in motion, which are harder to target uh, than, the, than a large single location where we stack up our logistics. So we are very much looking at how we do intra-theater disbursement at a time and place where we'll be able to resupply the forces securely, but keep it moving so that they don't become targets into the future. That gets back to the agility of the force that we need, and to do that, our forces need to be connected, they need to be on the network. Uh, our ability to securely command and control and understand where the forces are, where the logistics are, and where they need to go.